How's it going? Today we're going to talk about how to be happy. Now, I don't think it's necessary to be happy all the time. And frankly, this is a topic that I personally struggle with too, as someone who deals with depression on a daily basis. Uh, of course, some days are better than others, because some days I'm better at doing these things that really help, okay? So here's five things that will help you be happy. The first thing is that you want to pay attention to what you're paying attention to. Uh, so we start with a challenging one. I, I noticed this morning uh, when I was about to do my meditation, I was focusing on the noise. Um, I was focusing on the things that was irritating me, the things that were bothering me. And I realized that's not helping me. I tried to start switching my focus over to things that were beautiful. We've got uh, Asiatic lilies are popping right now. Um, for those of you in the future, it's spring or summerish or it's Michigan, so the seasons don't matter. I noticed right away huge difference in how I was feeling. Those things that were bothering me sudden, suddenly weren't in focus anymore. So step one, change what you're focusing on. That's one trick. Trick two, you know, make sure, and this is, I, I talked about this in the, in the uh, depression series. Two is make sure you're getting enough sleep. A tired brain is hard to keep happy, all right? Um, we're, we're around the 4th of July right now, so all of our neighbors have decided that they are uh, all firework techs, and that's what we got to deal with until about midnight. So sometimes it's just going to be hard to get that sleep that you need. So pay attention to how much sleep you're getting and then also be aware, again, back to that step one, what you're focusing on and notice the lens that you're using. You know, um, you might be just coloring things through that uh, lens of tired. So there's two. Uh, three is... Try to get outside if possible. I know, I know some of you are on bed rest and, and, you know, at the very least, try to open a window, you know, or have someone do it for you. Uh, try to get some of that sunshine. One of the things that we're finding is that uh, vitamin D is something we generate through sunlight. It's not something we get a lot through diet. Uh, it's mainly... Uh, a sunlight driven sort of thing. Um, so uh, that's step three, that, get that vitamin D. Just being outside, getting fresh air, getting sunshine is really, really, really gonna boost your mood. So step four, do that morning meditation. It gives your brain this chance. As you practice, you're putting yourself in the present moment. That's the entire goal of meditation, is to be 100% present. If you can really immerse yourself in that present moment, in that breath, in that movement, uh, Tai Chi can be a form of meditation. If you can really immerse yourself in that moment, then you'll find that you naturally become happier just because you are not worried about something in the future, you're not sad about something in the past, because you can't be. You're fully in the moment. So, that's four. And step five, here's the big one. This ties in with actually one. Uh, a gratitude journal. Or if you don't write it down, at least take time or any time you notice yourself, one, fixating on sort of irritating things in your day, um, try to counterbalance it with something that you can be grateful for. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice weather out, or uh, these flowers smell great, or whatever it is, it can be the smallest things. It doesn't have to be, I just won the lottery, that would be nice, um, but 
those small things, those little bitty things that you can look for to be grateful for, those, those are the things that are going to boost your mood, that are going to help, help your brain actually release those happy, those happy chemicals, that serotonin, um, <clears throat> excuse me, those are the things that are really going to help drive you through your day. The more things you can find to be grateful for, the easier it is to be happier and happier and happier. So, uh, I'm Chad Rushing. I hope that really helped. Smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, guys, one more thing. Bonus. Uh, look for that one thing that you've always wanted to learn how to do and start learning how to do it. I'm telling you, it's huge. You can really build your self-confidence as you progress in your skill. Some skills are going to be way harder to learn than others, but they can all be approached in a very similar way, especially if you approach it in a sense of fun. Um, it could be anything from, you know, learning how to change out an alternator to learning how to play guitar to anything, any skill that you've always wanted to learn, painting, um, and then start learning it. Uh, you'll find, like I said, as you progress, your self-confidence is going to go up and up and up. And I think a lot of happiness can come from self-confidence. So, Thank you for sticking around. I'm Chad Rushing. I'll see you next time.